Vic punched his ticket through in men's doubles as well. We will see him playing with Dylan Frazier. Thrilled to have you with us all day long alongside top senior pro Dave Fleming. I'm Michelle McMahon and J.W. Johnson on the board first as the four seed. These two have played twice, Michelle, and J.W. Johnson has won both in three game thrillers. So we'll see if he can get a perfect slate and get a gold medal today. J.W. Johnson won a gold medal in singles this season in Atlanta. Also silvered in Minneapolis and a bronze at the, the Takea Showcase. Meanwhile, Jaume Martinez Vic, breakout performance for him in June. The Selkirk Texas Open. Just long for JW Johnson. Jaume Martinez Vic ties it up early, two all. It's a good look at JW. Number five in men's singles. And I think the big thing here, we talked to Jao May on center before this match started. He's from Mallorca, Spain, so he got to hit tennis with Rafael Nadal because on that small island, there weren't a lot of players able to even return a ball from Rafa, but this dude could. And he said, I want to come out and play my game. I don't want to play cat and mouse at the kitchen line unless my passing shots, pace, and big serve aren't working. We'll see if that holds true here today. Oh, the crowd just, they can't deal with the missed overhead. The, the groans of agony. Had that lined up perfectly, just didn't get on top of it. Wow, and sailing well deep here, and we're 60 degrees. It is absolutely perfect conditions for pickleball here. Not much of a win. And there's the awesome footwork of Martinez, Vic, to be able to find a forehand on that deep volley from J.W. Johnson and then pull it inside in down the line. That's the strategy, and that is being effective here. And man, these returns are just sailing on J-Dub here. Three freebies. Well, it's not to be understated. You can't say that Jaume Martinez Vic isn't more rested than J.W. Johnson and that man. I mean, if you're going to put that costume on, we got to get you on center. So welcome. <laughs> J.W. Johnson finds life after the break. Yeah, great time out there to just settle it down. You know, you got adrenaline going. You got to, you know, Martinez Vic's going after his serve and he returns the favor. You know, the holiday season. You give, I give, you get, I get. I think it's important though for Martinez Vic, if you're going to get freebies, they're not going to last forever to get out the door and win game one here. And uh, poor treatment in that cam there. This is best two out of three in singles. Doubles will play three out of five here today. Games to 11, side out scoring. That's a tremendous deep return there. So that's impressive from J.W. Johnson. Some people that have missed a bunch of returns are just going to try and hit it into the middle of the court, which creates its own problem. So impressive. Inside out and a beauty for J.W. Johnson, the 21-year-old sensation. That first volley has to be deep in the quarter. You give way too many options, and J.W. Johnson can pull that down the line or do what he did there and go inside out. And a passing shot to match. How about that? He makes it look effortless. He does. He moves way better than his appearance, and the ability to get that return deep into the court is critical here for Jao May. And when they're back, then you can drop it. Nice angle and nice spin there, leaving that in the kitchen from Martinez Vic. And you have to have all the shots, Michelle, to get to Championship Sunday. You can't just be a good volleyer or hit good passing shots. You got to have the whole 
Bag of tricks. And both these guys absolutely have that. Wow, right for Jelby. So after the timeout, J.W. Johnson has hit two brilliant returns. That was a great serve down the tee to the backhand, and Five, six. Johnson hit it within an inch of the far baseline. Passing shot on the backhand side for Jelby. So a lot of players would rather drop that, Michelle, and get into cat and mouse, but when you are the shorter player and you know how good the other dude is, Jaume would much rather hit that and hit it with perfection. Jaume Martinez Vic, he's from Mallorca, Spain, as you mentioned. Got to practice with Rafa Nadal and now resides in Honolulu, Hawaii. Oh. Loves that island life. Sounds lovely. Back for JW Johnson. Yeah, just didn't have great footwork there and was reaching paddle face open sails on him. And this is what can happen in singles, Michelle. All of a sudden you look up and somebody's two points from winning a game. J.W. Johnson owns the kitchen. He does, and the volley before that was beautiful. Martinez Vic is awesome at covering the whole court, but couldn't get that ball to bounce, and it's over at that point. Five nine. Passing shot on the backhand <laughs> side to match. And Martinez Vic is saying, hey, you were supposed to hit that down the line. That was hilarious. He's still, he's still joking out there, Michelle. We got Six comedy nine. hour out here with Jaume <laughs> in the national championship final. So he's loose. And he Light was up. before the match when we went out and talked to him. We said, hey, you excited about winning the national championship? He said, I already have. <laughs> yeah. He said, well, what would it mean to you? He's like, well, I already have one in tennis. <laughs> it's fine. Cross court finishing Light touch up. for JW Johnson. His ability to hit every angle on the court so impressive. Yeah, well, we'll see that volleying prowess later today Six in the men's nine. doubles final. Oh. Definitely more dangerous on the forehand side, so that's one thing a lot of people playing singles don't think about. They just want to make a good volley. You want to make a great first volley to the weaker side Six. of your opponent. Martinez Vic, perfect there. Um, and he's back in, returns are sailing again. Five freebies of the ten. Game point for Jaume Martinez Vic. Yeah. And he gets game, it. 11, he six. takes game one, 11 6. The mixed senior pro event today. So we'll see if that's a factor. Long for Martinez Vic there, but uh, Martinez Vic didn't know a lick of English coming so over to America. And Joan Costa talked about it that with us before the match. Grabbed his talent. And what a shot for JW Johnson. Yeah, and Hawaii Pacific got that national championship that we referenced. He said they were a runner up twice and then finally got that coveted title. A bit of a slip there for J.W. Johnson, he recovers. And that's off script for Martinez Vic there to drop the ball and bring him in. If you're hitting a drop volley to win a, a rally, that's one thing. Another rough first volley that somehow he gets away with. And he's holding his own head because he knows twice he hasn't hit the right shot. 50% of the team said that's so bad right there. That's He is just such a great personality out there. Really close on the sideline there. Played good. Uh, and just to update from their past, in the first time these two played, Martinez Vic won game one and then lost in three. So J Dub has come from behind before. Nice shot from Jaume Martinez Vic getting the crowd going early. And just that explosive first step to see that off the tape. Look at this guy get over there. Love that view. Yeah. 
Janity Johnson right finds up. the corner. Two zero. Feathery touch right from Martinez Vic. Much better with the drop there because you've just hit a deep volley, so your opponent is almost up against the back wall Zero there. Two. Oh my God! Oh, right up. Bad luck off the tape there. He had him beat. Two zero. Out. That's the side you want to find on the return. So settling in again, we had a lot of missed returns in game one. We'll see if that can get cleaned up here. And there's the value of the return in singles. I mean, when J.W. Johnson gets it within an inch of the baseline, it's just too good. In the budget to go for your serve in singles, Michelle. You want to force a short return. <laughs> what a point. What? Just tremendous from Martinez Vic. <laughs> crowd is loving it and at the beginning of that point you saw a serve go off the tape we are playing let's there is no let you got to go Time out receiver four zero Decord, both players four vying zero. for a national title miss for jw johnson Jaume Martinez Vic gets the serve back, and we welcome in the third member of our crew. Hannah Johns is with his coach, courtside. Oh, Hannah. Thanks. I'm here on the sidelines, and uh, we're watching what is a very lopsided game two. What are you telling Jaume during these timeouts? I'm just trying to tell him a little bit of the strategies that we kind of like look at it yesterday and see if it uh, works and just to, to keep pushing. Like, not, don't let uh, JW like, uh, go ahead too much on the game. What, uh, how did you get connected with Jame? We actually uh, went back to, went to Hawaii together. Like, uh, as a, me as a coach and him as a player. So I, I helped him recruit the, the school, recruit him, and we came together. So he needed somebody to translate the other English. So. <laughs> well, talk about the awesome chemistry that you and Jame have. He's smiling all the time. He's looking over at you for feedback, and he's such a character. Talk about that. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, what's great about him. It's, uh, you know, he's always happy, you know, and I think that's, you know, pickleball for him is like a second opportunity, you know, at sports, and as long as he's having fun, he'll, he'll keep doing good. All right, well, thank you for your time. Michelle. Hannah, thanks. Translator by day, coach by night. <laughs> Wearing a ton of hats over there <laughs> and uh, coached him up to a title, so let's see if we can coach him up to a pickleball title. The other interesting thing here watching men's singles is since 2016, either Tyson McGuffin or Ben Johns has won singles. So this is a new winner no matter who gets out the door here. Wide. Ben Johns got upset by Craig, Chris, excuse me, Chris Hayworth and Tyson McGuffin didn't feel well, and Jaume Martinez Vic played amazing against him that day. Spent some time training together this season. Oh, take there for JW. And that is the second time that Martinez Vic has pointed to JW Johnson saying, hey, you're supposed to hit that down the line, but got a miss out of it. So that smiley attitude just continues. And I think that's important to just play a final loose Michelle and he is certainly doing it he just needs to get on the board and get going here in game two 
It's J.W. Johnson who took down Chris Hayworth, by the way, in that remarkable run in the semifinal action, 11-9, 11-7. Yeah, Hayworth is an absolute force in singles, and uh, that's a great result for him. Martinez Vic also had wins over Pablo Tellez in three games on his way to the quarterfinals. Tyson McGuffin, as you mentioned, and Hunter Johnson in the semis. Cross court passing shot. Jaume Martinez Vic in the aerial view to show for it. Yeah, and that's what he needs, you know, in game number one. He won points in bunches, Michelle, and got some freebies. So that's uh, something that will J.W. Johnson definitely improved. His returns, and then the tape said enough. I'm so sorry. <laughs> J.W. Johnson had a battle with Huang Duong in the round of 16, 13 11 in game two. Took down Alshon in the quarters. Passing shot down the line. So Martinez Vic has been cheating to cover the backhand, so great recognition of that by J.W. Johnson to pull that inside in. Again, there's the quality of not just the depth of that first volley, but the placement to make J.W. Johnson try and pass on the backhand. And the gift for Jalmik makes it a three-point lead for J.W. And we've seen a bunch of missed returns, but Michelle, we were on center before this match, and he was absolutely spent 10 minutes practicing his serve, the placement, and the impact, and practice has made perfect here in this match. Wow. That's obscene. Chalme Martinez Vic. The crowd loves that one. 2-5. He's celebrating that. Man, that was close. Let's see where this landed, Michelle. Boy, that looks wide. It does. No! <laughs> that angle from J.W. Johnson, so good. He got jammed up a little bit and was able to go inside out, and J.W. Johnson could have let that be called in and then challenged it, but uh, played on. There you see a great serve from J.W. Johnson. Martinez Vic not able to come in. That's the goal as the returner. You got to take the net. That's the risk reward of the drop volley because he knows he's got an opponent deep, but J.W. Johnson moves beautifully through the court and Cat and Mouse will favor J.W. The Johns brothers are like, make him run. We're going to play against him later today. So uh, put some mileage on that J.W. Johnson. Three, seven. Again, the reach advantage of J.W. Johnson on those cat and mouse when they're staring each other down with the dinks and pulling the ball around. And look at this dude. He just lost a point where he had a good shot at a two-handed backhand and smiling about it. So J.Dub's happy to smile right back up five. Eight, three. Out. 
Carving out another angle was J.W. Johnson. Vic almost got there. Yeah, I'd like some mashed potatoes and gravy with my carved turkey right there. That was pretty. You can see the movement. Just double bounce there, and Jaume called it on himself immediately. <laughs> okay. You want to challenge the alcohol? Okay. 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 So Jaume is saying, I think it's out, so. Chris Johnson with the verdict. After video review, the out call stands. The ball was out. Challenge is lost. Timeout is lost. We'll resume play at 3-8. One timeout, two timeouts. I'm confused on Time in, three, eight. where they think the challenge came from, but we got the call right, so that's fine. So good. Fight out. Beautiful. Beautiful overhead there, so uh, all good here coming out of that challenge where Jaume did get the call right. Oh, just short of the ATP for JW. Jaume's pointing right. wide, and I think I think J Dub's agreeing with him. I mean, he had half of the 20 to hit, and went for a little too much, and did pull it wide. And he's trying to put a little slice right. on that because Martinez Vic moves so well, you want the spin to push the ball away from him as well. Oh, nice shot right. for Vic finding the sideline. Action. Yeah, and just it's just bunning that into that open court in singles. You don't have to hit pace all the time. You have to be precise. Placement over power. Fight out. And that's a great job of J.W. Johnson using the movement of Martinez Vic against him by going behind him. You see that a lot in singles. Had it. Boy, another ball just millimeters from the either outer end on that exact same sideline. Massive serve there. Just a two point deficit to climb out of for Jaume. Make that a one point deficit. Timeout receiver, seven, eight. And then singles, Jaume Martinez, Vic trails Nine, by eight. a point to seven, J.W. Johnson, up a game on him. Eight. Another big angle from J.W. Johnson to get the serve back. Great timeout, he missed that overhead, and then that carried over into two missed eight, returns, seven. so that was a three-shot miss, but he's got that slim margin. And that is not what Jaume wants, a hands battle with those electric hands. No, he does not. J.W. Johnson nine, seven. up 9-7. Two points away from evening it out. Big put away. Point. Game point. And again, returning to the better side, and J.W. Johnson was happy to see a couple forehands, starting with that one. Nine, seven. And Martinez Vic is trying to even bring some excitement out of J.W. Johnson with the conversations after all of these rallies. I love it. So clean from J.W. Johnson. 
Yeah, if you don't get that ball on the ground to bounce, it's just, it's over. Ten seven. Game point number two. Inside oh. out, clean oh. winner, and JW Johnson once more. We are going three. Jaume Martinez, Vic. <laughs> From the world's most iconic tennis arenas to the glint of an Olympic gold medal, a new court beckons, a new challenge arises. Jack Sock has conquered tennis. Now, pickleball's next. Mastery, precision, passion, that's what champions are made of. And when it comes to pickleball, there's only one company they turn to. Jack Sock's legacy continues with the number one brand in pickleball. Selkirk Sport. We are Pickleball. At the Hyundai Masters 11-8. I'm just impressed by J.W. Johnson's resiliency being here so late last night yep. in the semis till 10.30 p.m. All that adrenaline. Nice shot from Martinez Vic. You're not going to sleep comfortably until, I don't know, maybe he is, but adrenaline running to get up. You've got Jaume Martinez Vic this morning. Yeah. Just Side couldn't out. curl that around. That's what two-handed backhands enable you to do. The left hand, you can hook the ball. Just didn't get enough of a hook there. And again, we'll switch hands at six. So that six, that first stop on the subway, if you will, of a game three is so important. And that's why Martinez Vic just really doesn't want to play cat and mouse. They were playing it for a minute. The next thing you know, Martinez Vic has been pushed all the way back because of the reach of J.W. Johnson, then had to throw up a lob and ate it. Miss return for Martinez Vic. J.W. Johnson on top by three. Three draw. Side out. Now that's a beautiful volley right there because two good swings at the forehand for J.W. Johnson. See if Martinez Vic can step to the line. He hit all those practice three. serves. He's gotten a lot out of it here. He needs one here. Side out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Martinez Vic running left. J.W. Johnson spots it. Says see ya. Yep. Just go ahead and show me how fast you are, because I'm going to hit it right back to where you were. Fight out. There's the road to gold for Jaume Martinez Vic. Pablo Tellez took down the Tyson McGuffin, who's won national championships here before. Fight out. And again, once we got into the Tom and Jerry portion of the show here, that cat and mouse problem, <laughs> it's not Rachel. gonna go well most of the time for Martinez Vic. Side out. You can see he keeps looking over at his coach, and I think even just that quick little assurance, so important Two, now. Side out. And if that volley is at the shoulder level, just forget about it. Regional. Point. So now it is Martinez Vic playing Santa. That's two missed returns out of the first four points here in game three. J.W. Johnson applying the pressure. Just Fight misses out. wide. Jaime Martinez Vic has to go. Yeah, he's got to make him go beat him with the backhand as much as he possibly can. Just Fight out. fantastic singles from J.W. Johnson right there. Wonderful return in the corner and then just owning the kitchen and <laughs> Martinez Vic chatting with him all the way up to retrieve the ball. 
Double decker VIP section to the left. Full house to the right. Passing Bye shot now. for Jaume Martinez. Vic gets the side out. Still scoreless, though, in game three. And that's the style he wanted to play. We saw that road to this event. And Therefore. he's so good on both sides to pass. He's just got to find it. Playfully punches the paddle and keeps the uh, dialogue running between him and J-Dub. J-W Johnson pounces. It's such a smart shot for J.W. Johnson. He knows his hands are better, so why not fire away? You don't see a lot of hands battles, but it's this next shot here where he goes body Bye, on Jalme. He knows he's good from that point on. Martinez bit covered the wrong half of the 20 by 44 there, but lived to tell about it. But this is important here. If you if you switch ends at six zip, that, that can just be debilitating. from J.W. Johnson on the line. What do you do if you're Jamie Martinez, Vic, at this point? Yeah, I mean, he's doing everything in his power here, and it's just too good from the other side. And clearly, the sun was affecting those overheads, as you saw J.W. Johnson let a couple bounce Bye, and then was really smart with the placement. Point. Time now, that Six, is a MG. clinic. His doubles prowess Diamond. together, and now he is Six five zero. points away from winning a singles title. Pretty angle from Jaime Martinez Vic. Yeah, and that's the big difference from tennis to pickleball. You got to find angles. Now, in singles, obviously, there's just one dude over there trying to find a defensive lob. And there's the Martinez Vic we have seen all week right there, Michelle, just blistering forehand passing shots. Let's see if he can put a little run at two or three, get some pressure on J Dub. It's easy to play loose up 7 1. Fight out. Just one for now. And J.W. Johnson just doesn't miss opportunities, and he's so cool and calm when he when he rarely does. He gets right back into Seven what one. works for him, and that's really important at such a young age. Oh. Again, chose to go to the body after that first volley landed short, and. That's advantage J Dub in a big Eight way. Point. Nine one. I mean, that is such an unbelievable get. And for Martinez Vic to be there and be able to bunt it back in the open what court, he wins the best rally of the day, but he has a huge hole to dig out of. Oh, hits the post, and Jamie Martinez Vic takes two points. 
This is interesting for J.W. Johnson to run a lot on the last two rallies. Just going to stay with it. You don't want to call timeout to give any sense that there's any problem when you're two points from the title. Side out. Nine two. Gets one back there. I mean, this has got to be the Three best nine. serves you've ever hit in your life here. Couple of misfires here, so Martinez Vic would love to get to like six here. Okay, gets the Four. five and J Duck. Five in. Five nine. Hands battle with Jody Johnson. Sprawls out, gets the forehand, and a serve back on his side. And Martinez Vic had a really good look at a forehand that he wasn't able to hit a clean winner. <laughs> he has words for J.W. Johnson, who now has championship point on his side. Side out. Crowd wants Five more down. from Martinez Vic, the showman. Side out. And that's why we see so many balls off the net, Michelle. You know that the margin to make a bad volley from your opponent is an inch or two above Ten the five. tape. Oh, J.W. Johnson passes Jaume Martinez-Vic, an 11-5 victory.